In the past, many people had very stereotypical views about state and private education. What we want to find out is if these views are still around today. In a survey that we conducted, we found that a large number of students had very stereotypical views. For example, they called each other tots, disadvantaged, poor, and snobs. This is very interesting as it shows that stereotyping still exists in schools today. I think the behaviour of pupils in a private school um, is very up and down, is very narrow minded and one lacking a lot of care and emotion and love, I would say. Children in a state school misbehave for a reason and it's my job to find out what that reason is and it could be anything to do with family breakup, poverty, relationships, drugs, exam pressure, anything. down to money. If you've got the money, people will send them. On the back of that, you could say that it's to do with the fact that people don't have respect in, uh, for secondary education, the comprehensive education that we offer. But we have a lot of schools now in Kirklees and across the country that offer such a fantastic package that I think parents would be hard pressed not to send to a secondary school. It's born out of snobbery and money. My knee-jerk reaction is to say no, because no matter whether it's private or public, uh, there shouldn't be, you know, because every child matters no matter whether they've got money behind them or not. And so I would like to say no. Yes, I think the type of school does have a direct effect on the GCSE results. Um, that pains me um, because I think every child should have the opportunity to succeed, but not every school has the staff, the facilities, the resources, the money to actually allow it because we're funded from central government, um, whereas a private school is funded from teacher uh, parents pockets I don't think that at all. 
Um, I've come across a lot of people who have had a private education and leave school with so many hang-ups. They, they lack so many skills that they don't make it in life. What we have found is that many teachers and students do have stereotypical views, but these views are not necessarily shared by those in higher education. In spite of this, many universities are practicing positive discrimination in favour of state school students to try and shake off their traditional old boys network image. All that remains is for me to thank you for watching our show.